Look what we have over here. Okay, honey, tell me what we made, or well, what you made. Uh, well, Cream and I, uh, we made a baked cod. Uh-huh. Um, with a cream dill sauce mm. over um, mashed potatoes. Oh, so there's mashed potatoes in here? Yeah, yeah. So. Cream dill sauce, dill. Yeah. Yes, dill. <laughs> I'm thinking back a few years ago. Didn't the kids, especially Khalid, say he wasn't into dill? Well, he don't know. He, was a he don't know, right? We'll see. But this is, you know, and you looks, know, with a little bit delicious. of Parmesan and, um, okay. you know, so it's, a, you know, it's winter comfort food, you know. And we, of course, we have steamed vegetables to go with it. Spinach and, um, you know, mixed nice. greens and stuff with a little bit of butter and salt and pepper, garlic. Okay, so it's green beans, spinach, corn. Yeah, just mix carrots. Yeah, okay. So my left hand. That's fine. Wait. Nah, not with this. Okay. Kenton's plating skills. It's horrible. <laughs> freaking horrible, but hey, it's free. It's yeah. free. <laughs> you want to move the seat back? No, the, on the button on the side, you just, you just push it back. Yeah, that's what you're really trying to do. All this is literally Khalid's first time behind the wheel. There's other stuff you're doing that's going to help you. It's, you got to be able, be able to sit up and look at the mirror without moving your head too much. Can you look in the mirror and see the back? See, if you have to do all this kind of stuff, that's not good. The brake and the gas. So so instead of braking, they end up accelerating because they're, they're, they're panicking. So what you want to be able to do is, is, is where it's basically muscle memory where you know where to go and stuff, okay? So, so put your foot on the brake, right? And just press on the brake. And do you feel the tension? Mm -hmm. Okay. So right. So that's that's the thing. That's what. That's the other thing is that we're we're going to sit there and feel, because when I put the car in motion, we're just going to practice braking. Okay. Because I want you to be able to to feel the tension, and then feel how. Well, f put on your seatbelt. So feel how, <laughs> yeah, feel how. Before? Like in, in school or anything? No, okay. So any driver's ad? No. None? Okay, that's all I did. So. A little trivia, but before the kids were born, Kenton had a second job as a licensed driver's instructor. Okay, you have your foot on the brake? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go put it in drive. And all you're gonna do is gonna let off the brake. It's gonna move forward and then put your foot on the brake. We're gonna keep doing that a couple of times to get you to practice that, okay? Okay. All right, ready? Put your foot on the brake. Mm -hmm. You press in the, your foot is on the brake? Mm -hmm. You press in the brake? Mm -hmm. Okay, you didn't press the brake, that's why. You put it, put your foot on the brake, okay. You, get, you got follow instructions. See, you weren't pressing on the brake, that's why it wouldn't let me go in the drive. Okay, get off the brake, feel the car move. Press back on the brake. Okay, so do you feel the tension? Mm -hmm. So so we're gonna and go ahead and turn just a little bit. Right. You learn hand over hand. Yep. Turn a little more. Slow down, slow it's break. You gotta turn a little more. Yeah, I really turn, son. There you go. Now you make it. Okay, now slow, slow. Okay, yeah, we turn back, hand over hand. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yep, keep going. Two. Stand in two, because you're always at 10 and two. And that's what the uh, the instructor or the um, grader is gonna look at, hand placement. So if you're like this, doing this shit, so let's practice that again, hand over hand, and see until you don't have to think about it. Teaching someone to drive definitely requires a lot of patience. And Kenton has gotten better over the years because when he first taught me to drive over 25 years ago, it wasn't that easy. <laughs> we would get into fights. I would uh, tell him to get out the car and stuff like that. 
But anyway, um, it's kind of cool to see now, over 25 years later, him teaching our son to drive. So the process here in North Carolina, because of the pandemic, there is no um, you know, live driving test, so to speak. Once the student gets their permit, which, Kente, uh, which Khaled sorry, had to study for online, he got his driver's permit, took the test at the DMV, um, now he has to practice driving. So this is a good time for student drivers to learn because there is no DMV instructor driving. You basically have to get an adult who is a licensed driver to drive with you. And as long as he can show that he has 60 hours of driving practice, then he can get his driver's license. Definitely make sure the student driver is honest and they actually practice 60 hours because your license is recorded and there is definitely a penalty if either party lies or doesn't get that 60 hours of instruction. <laughs> You're doing this shit. I'm yeah, like, this no, so this is, this is what the instructor is looking for. Okay, so let me show you. So they'll take you to an area like this and they're, they're going to want to see your little turn so they'll sit there and they'll go like okay make a left turn here actually I did it wrong they want, to, <laughs> they want you to look first see that's what that's the, the, what thing you so they say okay make a left turn you'll be like this you look signal look again hand over hand press on the gas turn turn back hand over hand adjust so I was a little distracted, but this is my attempt at jollof rice. Might be a little bit soft, but it has the flavor because we got the funk. We got some palm oil in it. <laughs> we have some scotch bonnet in it, so it definitely has the flavor if it doesn't, even if it doesn't look the part. Now I know Ghanaians put vegetables in theirs, Nigerians don't always. I kind of did, so we'll see. But the kids tasted it, they said it's very hot. And then over here we have some mixed veggies. This is some cabbage and carrots and spinach and it's got butter in it. All right, and then over here, boo boo. It's, it's pretty uh, dark, right? Is it burnt or is it just dark, it's dark. intentionally? Well, I told you. It looks darker on camera, I will say that. It looks darker on camera than it is. But it's okay, because I don't even I mean, like the skin, I mean, so. You know I like dark meat. Yeah, we know you like dark meat. Hee hee hee. Anyway, yeah. yeah you just remove Once the you, skin. yeah, that that looks no, fine. Because I really don't like all the fat. Uh, just skin. like if you got if you got jerk chicken from like Blue Mountain. Right. You know that it is dark because it's smoked. Right. It's baked, so. You know, but smoked jerk chicken actually is dark. But once you so remove, no, the skin, I think it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna. You just remove the like I was telling you, because the meat is. Yeah. And it's so very it's not tender. burnt. It's, no, it's very it's tender. Just, it's it's just dark and flavorful. Right. <laughs> so this is Mariam's plate, and she's not a big pepper person. So she doesn't want me to give her too much. All right, just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's always the largest rock. But definitely you need a lot of vegetables and we have a lot of vegetables. Healthy. That's too much? She's telling me to stop. I think you need more vegetables. And then you put it with your chicken. Look at that. Is this not a good plate? I just need some plantain. <laughs> So on today's menu of lunch is leftovers. I looked in the fridge and realized I have a bunch of leftovers. So this is some mashed potatoes that Kenton did the other day with the cod. And then some eel that I opened up. And then give it a fresh feel, some avocado. All right, so obviously we're not gonna put avocado in the microwave, so we'll put that to the side and then warm this up. I love these gummies. These are my vitamin C. The children and I take these at least two a day. We also have the chewables for those who prefer. And then in the second drawer, I have two blood pressure medicines. Take 
your meds, y'all. <laughs> Whatever you're prescribed, take it. And then when it comes to vitamins, I've shown you, I take magnesium. I also take vitamin D every day. Well, I'm not so good with the magnesium, but I definitely take vitamin D every day because of this, when it's low in your body, you will feel sad or even depressed at times because we don't have much sun. We're not getting vitamin D from the sun and it has been tied to depression. It has been tied to depression as well as tied to significant bone health. So yeah, usually on this it says what bone and immune health. So I take it again for my mood, but I also take it to help uh, my bones. Okay, another one I take, but not all the time, is zinc. Um, sometimes vitamin B12, which is good for your memory and also good for energy. And especially if you don't eat a lot of meat. If you're like vegetarian, you're actually required or encouraged to take this every day. So the vegetarians that you may know, they generally take B12 in the form of a tablet or in the form of an injection. Um, but they have to take B12 or they will be deficient in B12 because you only get B12 from animal products. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is the new president's inauguration. <sighs> I don't know, I feel more anxious. There's excitement, but there's also anxiety. You know? And if you live in the US, I'm sure you can relate. But anyway, let's get breakfast ready. Here's some things that need to be put away. Clean, but need to be put away. I should probably get rid of this. This is from Christmas leftovers. Looks like Kenton's got one of his favorite gadgets <laughs> going. Let's see, what do we have in here? Oh, this is beans he soaked overnight and uh, I guess he's probably making a soup. That's nice. Let's put some water on. All right, so while we're waiting for our tea to brew, let's make some oatmeal. I like to use this really small pot because nobody else wants the oatmeal but me. In my messy pantry that needs to be organized, let's get the oatmeal. See, I got regular oatmeal up here and then I have this gluten-free oatmeal. Zero cholesterol, zero sodium, so no salt, no cholesterol, but you've got the fiber, you've got some vitamins um, like phosphorus, potassium, a little bit of potassium, a little bit of magnesium, a um, little bit of iron, it's gluten-free, so not all Quaker Oats is gluten-free, but like I said, this one is lasting energy, good source of fiber, no preservatives, no artificial flavors. I'm gonna add milk to it, a little bit of almond milk, and then I sweeten it with a little bit of honey. Lord, where the cinnamon at? Okay, we're gonna need cinnamon. Where's the nutmeg? We also have nutmeg. I like a lot of nutmeg. And cinnamon, which is also good for your blood sugar. Cinnamon helps to control blood sugar and it tastes amazing. This is 
coat. Let's use some almond milk to open it out. So I'm sharing this with Kenton after all. I convinced him to have some. I have some beautiful blueberries. Look how pretty these are. I just washed them. is a good way to get your fruit or your antioxidants and because I have the raisins and cranberries I actually don't need a lot of honey or a lot of sweetening just a little bit let me take this up to Kenton who is hot God, this is so good. So good. It's a nice ponytail. All right, quick lunch. Oh, black pepper. No oh, seasoning, adobo. That's it. I also plan on eating some of this, which I love, roasted eel. Pity we can't go into any restaurants anymore, or we choose not to. I mean, some of them are open, but we are choosing not to. Anyway, um, usually I get roasted eel when we get sushi. So unless Kenton takes, buys it to go, we don't usually eat eel. Doesn't that look beautiful? That looks beautiful to me. I don't know about y'all, but that looks beautiful to me. That with a fried egg and some greens will be good using a wooden spatula. And I like my egg a little runny, not too runny, just a little. Try to get a little onions. Simple onions and a little bit of grease that was in there, or a little bit of oil. Add a little chili, sweet chili sauce. Caramelize that. I love like crunchy onions. So, and then I'm just gonna add the eel. Actually, I would like a little bit of chili sauce. Just a little, it's not super hot to me. This is the chili garlic sauce. Just for a little bite, a little kick. But just a little bit of carbon, this is corn. So it's gluten free, you know, corn tortilla, just to get some of that sauce, you know. All right, if your plate, your plate is just brown, that's not good. So you have to have some green. You have to have some green. So we're gonna eat a nice arugula and spinach salad mix. Hey boo, I'm leaving you some eel. Oh, okay. Cool. One of the kids had made some vegetables, so I added that too. And that's a pretty good lunch. Got, hey folks. Got my 23 and me results. <laughs> no, we got something for Habiba and Kenton's channel. Well, uh, for Habiba. Yeah, we're about to upgrade our game, so to speak. But it was motivated by the fact that um, my last camera or my Canon G7X has been acting up a little bit, yeah. deleting some of the footage, which was pissing me off. Anyway, so better camera. Hopefully we'll have better quality. So look out for that. Of course, I'm going to have to learn it. I have to learn how to use this. <clears throat> it's a DSLR, right? Yep. One of them expensive ones. 
So it should also come with lens. It has a flip screen just like the Canon, but it's got a hopefully fancy zoom lens. Let's see, 18. wow. Yeah. <laughs> this reminds me of my father. Yeah. Father, Mohammed Bella to now, are you watching? <laughs> I hear you. Wow, okay. And these lenses are not cheap, right? No. Mm -mm. These lenses are not cheap. So look out for more coming soon. So apparently this is 4K, so you'll definitely have a better uh, image quality and what's this thing this is a viewfinder so because you have your flip mm. let's say you want to have a, a better quality to zoom in you know right. to, for photography right because this is not good for photography mm. when you're trying to get tight shots right so this comes in with an electronic viewfinder okay so you can actually look in and uh, while you're doing some more photographic shots right yeah so that, cool. Yeah, so it's, a nice... it's definitely going to take some time to learn how to use yeah. it. Yeah, it's definitely an investment because not yeah. only do I have to have, you know, these different accessories, now I have to have also its own batteries. Yeah. It has oh. to have its own batteries. So that's more money. All right, so we also got some more lights. These are LED lights. Right, photography lights. So mm -hmm. they should have, uh, you'll be able to also adjust the different um, softness of the lights. Right. Uh, create different effects, but they're box lights, so you can also uh, fold them in and direct them. Awesome. Yeah. So. so yeah, you guys probably see my interest is not just videography and editing and all of that. For YouTube but also some photography for some projects coming soon so yeah it's all about the gear invest in yourself thanks for watching Kenton and Habiba we'll see you soon I didn't want the video to be too long so I didn't include any doll footage but I might do that next time uh, comment below if you want to see the girls again and definitely follow me on Instagram